From this moment on, we're gonna start working on dogs. And so the next walk up, I want you to remember what it feels like or what it looked like compared to this last one. Your, your dog drags you, is pulling you around a little bit. Sit down, sit down. If your dog is pulling you around, it gets tiring. It gets hard to stay sharp. It, it's real easy to get dull. It's real easy to get frustrated. We're gonna work on individual heel work. People wanna do heel work and take dogs for walks. That's not where heel work gets developed. Heel is simply a position. See these mowed strips of grass? We're gonna start using those as our guide. I like using straight edges. The fences are nice. Yard, my, my railing in the front of my house is nice. There's all these straight edges. I want Carrie to have Boone on the left-hand side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk down on a grass line. And then the second the dog gets out of position, which means that's out of position, we want that shoulder even with our knee. That's my ideal spot. It allows the dog's head to be out here to see what's going on. But they, what happens is, is dogs have a tendency to take that a little too far. Next thing you know, their knee, your knee is in the middle of their body. Now they've got an extra step on you. It's just that much easier for them to break. It's just that much easier for them to take another. So I don't mind if the dog stays a bit behind and puts its head level with my knee, but that's heel position. That's what heel is, it's a position. So when the dog, when we start walking with the dog, we're always gonna start out with our left leg. If the dog is healing on your left, the right-handed side, you're gonna start with your right leg. Why do we do it? It makes it easier for the dog to understand it's time to go. It's the closest leg to them. Physically, that one moves. They time out their movement with it. So when we step off, we're always gonna step off with our left leg. You're right. Then when we start to walk, as soon as the dog goes this much beyond the position that they need to be, we're simply turning 180 degrees and walking away with a correction timed right then at that moment, okay? So, I'll, let me show it with him first. Turn either your left or your right. I'm gonna turn away from him. Okay. So if we turn to the left into them, we'll do that eventually. But the first one is turn and go the other way. The idea of this is surprise them. Not, and, and so what ends up happening is, it ends up happening is zero pressure is these two links touching. He has zero pressure right now. He has simply the weight of the collar. Zero pressure is what we want all the time. If you're like this all the time, you're starting at like a five. And so in order to get change, I say for simplicity reasons, it's a level of 10. You need, to, you need to up it by 10 to get the change. So if you're starting at five, what pressure level do you need to get to get change? 15. I think 15 is too much. 10 is what we want. So start at zero and let 10 equal 10. So when, when this guy starts out with me, I don't like that nose down, so we correct it. Okay, so heel position, heel doesn't mean anything. I don't need to say heel to him yet. He doesn't know what that means. But he's in very good position right now. So I'm gonna speed up. And he's really doing a nice job. He's really not, he's not getting out of position. So I'm speeding up. And is he gonna keep up? And then I'm gonna slow down. And he does a nice little response there. And I'm gonna speed up. And then I'm gonna slow down. And do you see how he's really moving with me? Hard to get a correction on this dog right now. Carrie, tell him to screw up. No, I mean, he is a good dog, it's me. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Attention. But you, you don't correct them when they're looking around as long as they're in the right position? As long as they're in position, heel. As long as it's about position. So I can't hardly get him to get out. Good. There. He hung up. Do you see that? He hung up, I corrected. That correction that I gave him is a little bit higher up. 
because he started to fade away from me. Did you see how I faded away? So I corrected. Did you see the, pr the pressure on that correction wasn't as much? But it was effective. Heel. Good heel. Now I just said good heel. You probably didn't hear it. When he's, when he's in the right spot, I am going to let him know, good job, you're doing it right. Good. Good. Sit. Good. Let me see this one. Have at it. She's never met me. What's her name again? Valley, right? Heel. I want to get a nice straight run here. There, just right there, did you see her adjust? I stopped, took it, and she, she's already going, I think I should not go out in front. Ah. Heel. Did you hear that correction? That physically didn't transfer much pressure to her no neck at all, but she heard it. Good. Good. Ah. There. Did you see that? That was the best little reaction. Good. Very good. Good. Made a good decision there. Do you see how I slowed down a little bit and gave her a chance to have a... She's out. I was late on that one. She had two, three steps out before I corrected. I was a little late. Good. 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 Nice, very, 100% given, given into that turn. Good. Boy, she's really responsive. Nice little dog. I don't want that nose down. <laughs> sit, 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 good. Now I'm gonna stop for a second. Cause we just went for about two, three minutes and she made some great decisions. She made a few where she was out a little bit and she got corrected. That one correction, the best correction I did there was that was about the amount of pressure, but it was so crisp and quick that the sound, resp she responded to that sound so well. So what was really, sit. So the reason I'm having her sit now is because absorb what we just talked about. We just had a really nice discussion and she thought about things and showed me some really positive things. So now think about it, sit. But here's here's the bigger here's a bigger picture problem. She has doesn't have a lot of patience. She, I'm waiting for her to start pawing at me to say let's go. So this is has nothing to do. We're gonna get to this part next or later this morning. She needs a lot of this time in between. All the dogs right now are a little antsy because this is probably a long time that we've asked them to just sit and do nothing. It hasn't been that long, but out of force throughout the day, they're gonna get really good at this because they don't have another option. That's our lifestyle. See that yellow dog? She, this is nothing new to her. She thinks I should lay down because hell, it might be an hour before we do anything. It's not started out that way. It started out with 10 seconds of just relax, then 20, then 30. Heel. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit of varied pace. Because I'm going to test her and go, do you just, do you just have one speed? No. I almost corrected that. But I gave her a chance to go, uh, uh, uh. I gave her a shot. The collar's loose, right? Yes. <laughs> See how she snapped her head back? She went, oh, I don't, don't correct me, don't correct me. I'm not, I wasn't out there, I, I'm sorry. Good. So let's let her know that was good. Good. And then we speed up and slow down. So as long as they stay behind you when you speed up, they're okay. Yeah. But 
you see how me speeding it up threw her for a little loop and then she went, uh, I'm gonna drift and then I corrected. Good, great turn. Speed up, slow down, very good decision.